Hey yo, what is up guys? I'm back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be giving my predictions for Nintendo's 2021 so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy so let's start off with January and with January I think there's going to be a Pokemon Presents and uh, I think that we'll get the reveal of the Diamond and Pearl remakes at this uh, Pokemon Presents and uh, I feel like they will release in October. Moving on to February, I think we'll get a full direct finally, it's been so long um, and Mario 3D World Deluxe Plus or sorry just Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury obviously that's releasing in February so it would make sense to have a direct a few weeks before uh, that just to market the game in March I don't feel like there'll be anything I think that will just be a blank slate I feel like we'll get some third party games though and um, not sure what third party games but I guess we'll see uh, in April I feel like we're going to get the Metroid Prime Trilogy, which I know it's been rumoured for so long and Nintendo just hasn't said anything, but I feel like soon enough, I feel like it's time to get it. And I feel like this could be a big year for Metroid since it is, after all, it is the 25th anniversary for Metroid or 35th actually. Yeah, I think it's 35th. So yeah it's a it's a big year in for the anniversary of metroid so i feel like nintendo will want to celebrate that so the metroid prime trilogy um could release in april and then moving on to may in may i think we will get a new donkey kong country and the reason i think this is is because we haven't got a main donkey kong country in a long time um, the last main one was Tropical Freeze, and obviously that was ported to the Switch, but um, that that was just the port. It's not a full new game. So yeah, um, it's also Donkey Kong's fortieth anniversary. So um, yeah, I think that's also a big factor that could go into this. Um, the only like thing I'm wondering about is would it be retro studios working on it because they're obviously working on metro prime 4 so it's hard to tell who will develop the game but i feel like there is some team working on a new donkey Kong country in june i think we'll get a mario golf and the reason i think this is is because mario golf is a pretty popular uh genre uh, of Mario Sports and um, it just makes sense to have it on Switch. It's been on 3DS, it's been on Wii, it's, it's been on a lot of consoles so I feel like it's time we get another Mario Golf. Personally I would really like uh, Mario Sluggers or Mario Strikers but I think that's just wishful thinking in my opinion and um, we're more likely to get Mario Golf um so yeah then i also think there's going to be a direct around e3 time um like i think there will be an e3 direct uh in june and that will show off breath of the wild 2 and uh maybe some games one or two games for 2022 uh such as maybe pikmin 4 metroid prime 4 uh, that sort of thing. Maybe Mario Kart 9 even if we're lucky. Um, in July, I think we'll get a Splatoon spin-off game. Now, what genre that could be uh, is obviously up for debate. Um, I don't think Splatoon 3 is going to be the next Splatoon game just because of how, like, how much they can iterate on the series. I feel like there's not much room for improvement in Splatoon um, because Splatoon 2 is already a really good game so I don't feel like 
as much they can add to the Splatoon 3, so I think we will get a Splatoon sp spin-off. So, yeah, um, like I said, what, what genre that will be, no clue, but it will be interesting to see if we get like a Splatoon 3D platformer or something, that would be pretty cool. Um, in August, uh, I don't think there'll be anything. Uh, last year there was nothing in August either, so that kind of makes sense there. Um, then in September, I think we'll get a new 2D Metroid. And the reason I'm saying this is because it's been rumored for so long, um, and it just kind of makes sense. And to be honest, we need a new 2D Metroid. Um, in October, I think we'll get the Diamond and Pearl remakes. And uh, the reason I think this is because if you if you look at past releases, there has been a lot of Pokemon games in October, for, such as Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So um, I feel like uh, we'll get the Diamond and Pearl remakes, which are the remakes that everybody wants. Uh, in November, I think w that will be the big holiday game will be Breath of the Wild 2 and uh, Like I know it's only been in development since uh, It was it was revealed in E3 2019 but it like The engine is probably still the same as the first Breath of the Wild so I feel like it won't take as long to make so yeah, I feel like that will release sometime in November of 2021. And then in December, I don't feel like we'll get anything. Um, just to build a pipe for the, the January of 2022, which is where they'll reveal some heavy hitters in uh, for 2022. So yeah, um. I feel like there could be another direct in 2021 in possibly September. Well, I feel like the main ones will be in February and June. And uh, February will outline most of the calendar. And then the one in June will show some games coming towards the end of the year, such as Breath of the Wild 2 and... Um, maybe highlight the diamond and pearl remakes more and maybe the 2d metroid so yeah that's just my kind of thoughts there so anyway yeah those are my predictions for nintendo's 20 2021 so i hope you guys enjoyed this prediction video and let me know if you want me to do more prediction videos for different games such as maybe predicting breath of the wild 2 stuff like that so yeah let me know and i will see you guys in the next video peace out